Good morning, beloveds. Um, so, yeah, it's 26 degrees out there, or it was. It may be a little warmer now. Um, it's 26 degrees out there, and um, the teen, it, it feel, the feels like are in the teens. Yay! Um, so I layered up and went for a walk. Uh, and we'll see. It, the neighborhood was really quiet. Really quiet. And honestly, outside of the fact that it was really cold, and that wind would just cut right through you. Uh, you couldn't tell that we had, that we were having winter weather because there was, um, it, it it did drizzle, but there was very little ice. So that's a good thing uh, because down here, ice brings power lines down. <laughs> so hopefully um, everybody is warm and safe and your heaters aren't working too much over time. Because I know they're working overtime. No, no ma'am. No, ma'am. You cannot ask. No. 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 <laughs> well, this could be a challenge today. Um, we're, we're offering kitten food to an elderly uh, cat. And she can smell it, and she wants it. And I'm worried she's going to knock the camera over. Because she's being super obnoxious right now. <laughs> so, if the camera goes down, it was Rita. Alright. Uh, it is February 4th. Our title is, I am victorious over all difficulties, for I have faith in God, the good, omnipotent. Uh, our quote is, the Lord knoweth the way of righteousness, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And that is Psalm 1-6. Apparently we are working our way through the first psalm. The victorious attitude is the one that recognizes the unlimited power of God. Without this awareness, no one can be victorious over the negatives of life. Those who live without spiritual vision and understanding are forever trying to solve their problems by manipulating their human minds and exerting their human wills. This exhausts them, frustrates them, and gives them no peace. The recognition of God as cause and as the creative power of this world brings victory to the soul. It does this because all problems begin and end within the individual's own consciousness. As we realize that God's mind is in us as the basis of our individual consciousness, we begin to solve our problems at their point of origin, which is within ourselves. We find the inner security which comes from knowing that God's ideas in us are now giving us correct instruction in the way we should go. I have faith that within me is the presence of God as pure mind. I have faith that this inner Christ is now victorious over all problems facing me this day and this week. I let go of all human will. I believe that God has prepared me for the increased good in every department of my life. I accept this good and rejoice in it. I am victorious, undaunted. I go forth to handle the affairs of my life with wisdom and love. Nothing can stop the action of God from taking place in my experience, for I love God and know God's inner peace. I am poised, confident, and sure, for I am established in unlimited good. This is the truth, and I declare it. Alright, which brings to mind first, there's a quote, and it's not, not my will but thine. Uh, and it is referring to God. It, it's referring to God's will. And I recently came to a new understanding because of, of not my will but thine. Uh, because we think we're giving up control when we say that. And it's not that. Uh, not my will but thine. Because we have this tendency to use our willpower to do things. Um, think about like quitting smoking or resisting eating things, you know, that kind of thing. Willpower. Um, and frequently when we are using our willpower, we're white knuckling it. We're holding on so tight that our knuckles are white. 
Um, whereas the uh, that that quote, "Not my will, but thine," it it is a surrender, but it is about surrendering surrendering to a greater power that will accomplish what we are trying to accomplish. If that makes sense, um, because we are surrendering to the ultimate power, we are surrendering to the power. I'm sorry, I'm about to surrender to the power of the cat. Um, we are surrendering to the power. We are surrendering our idea of willpower to a greater power that we have access to. And when we stop trying to use our own power, when we stop trying to white knuckle it, and we surrender into this greater power, then anything is possible because suddenly all the power that we needed, that we were trying to force ourselves to create, is available to us. Because it is available through us. We don't have to create it. All we have to do is be open to it. So not my will, but thine. Um, and it comes with recognizing the unlimited power of God and recognizing that we have the right to use that power because we're made of that power. All right, so I am victorious over all difficulties, including the one called Rita, uh, for I have faith in God, the good omnipotent. All right. So, the Lord knoweth the way of righteousness, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. That is, like I said, that is Psalm uh, 1-6. I'm fighting a losing battle with this cat. Uh, well, no, no, <laughs> come on. Ah, here. Here. Psst, psst. That's all it is. I gave her a couple of pieces. We'll see if that'll keep her quiet for a minute. The victorious attitude is the one that recognizes the unlimited power of God. All right? The unlimited power of God. Without this awareness, no one can be victorious over the negatives of life because we will try and use our own power. And frequently, it is not enough. Those who live without spiritual vision and understanding are forever trying to solve their problems by manipulating their human minds and exerting their human wills. And that's where I, I jumped off. With not my will, but thine. Not my power, but thine. Um, this exhausts them, frustrates them, and gives them no peace. You know you've been there. We've all been there. We've all tried to do something um, on our own and realized that by ourselves, it's hard. But when we are willing to surrender to that divine, anything is possible. All right. So the recognition of God as cause and as the creative power of this world brings victory to the soul because we recognize that we have access to this power. That is how it brings victory to the soul. We are made by this power, of this power, for this power. We are made to be channels of this power into the material realm. If we are willing to surrender to that power and allow it to flow through us, we can do anything. As we realize, oh, wait, okay. It does this because all problems begin and end within, within the individual's consciousness, which sounds kind of blaming, but it's not. Um, basically, what we are learning here is that simply by changing our minds, we can make different choices. And when we make different choices, things change. Um, so that's, it, it, it does sound a little blaming, but it's not. It's not. It's about being open to that guidance um, that we have available to us all the time. Okay, as we realize that God's mind is in us as the basis of our individual consciousness, we begin to solve our problems at their point of origin, which is within ourselves. 
we find the inner security which comes from knowing that God's ideas are in us, God, that God's ideas in us are giving us correct instruction in the way we should go. It is about making different choices. All right. Uh, which is why I've given in and started giving kitten food to the <laughs> cat. Uh, I have faith that within me is the presence of God as pure mind. I have faith that this inner Christ is now victorious over all the problems facing me this day and this week. Okay. Because I am open to inspiration, I have access to the divine mind and I am aware of this and I am accessing it. Now there is a difference between knowing you have access and then accessing it. Okay, so first step, know you have access. Second step, access it. Access that inspiration. Access that change in attitude. Access that change in guidance. Access that information. Um, I let go of all human will. I believe that God has prepared me for increased good in every department of my life. So, not my will, but thine. I accept this good and rejoice in it. I am victorious, undaunted. I go forth to handle the affairs of my life with wisdom and love. Meaning I am alignment, in alignment with God. Nothing can stop the action of God from taking place in my experience. For I love God and know God's inner presence, which is the point of spiritual practice. When we know God's inner presence, when we know that we are using the divine mind, it opens up the possibilities because we will see things that we might not have noticed before because we are paying attention. Nothing can stop the action of God from taking place in my experience, for I love God and know his... Oh, sorry, you <laughs> redid that line. Uh, I am poised, confident, and sure, for I am established in unlimited good. This is my truth, and I declare it. All right. So, our mission today Uh where was it? Okay, I'm going to use this one. The mission today, should we choose to accept it, is the recognition of God as cause and as the creative power of this world that created us and we have access to it. So, recognizing that God is the creative power. The creator that created us, that indwells us. And because of that, because it created us of itself, we have access to that power. Um, and that's the mission. That's the mission. Today, today, he wants us to know who we are. Meaning, uh, Ernest wants us to know who we are. We are beloved children of God. And we live in a state of grace. And in this state of grace, uh, anything is possible. Especially when we recognize who we are. Um, all right. I'm also going to suggest, as I do, uh, the spiritual practice of doing something loving for yourself. Do so something kind for yourself. Do something compassionate for yourself. Whatever that looks like. Um, right now, <laughs> it looks like me giving kitten food to a cat that doesn't need it. Um, to lower both of our frustration levels. <laughs> um, it's also, sometimes it's taking three deep breaths. Sometimes it's taking a nap. Sometimes it's taking a walk. I.e. today, I did bundle up and go to walk, go for a walk in, you know, 26 degree weather. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I did. Uh, the only thing that would have made it better is if there was a little sun. Um, so... Loving, kind, compassionate. Create that as a habit for yourself. It is a spiritual practice. Self-care is a spiritual practice. Um, it is uh, what I'm encouraging is a habit, a default setting. 
so that no matter what happens, you can have a loving, kind, and compassionate response for yourself and for anybody that you come in contact with. Um, that's how we create a world that works for anybody, everybody. All right. Uh, I would also say do something to engage your mind and your body today. It's a good way to stay warm in this cold weather. Um, it is also drink plenty of fluid. I would tell you to go get a face full of sun, but it's pretty dreary here. So bright light early in the morning. It'll, it'll set you up. It'll set you up. Um, and open the windows of your soul. A lot of the breath of heaven to remind you. You do live in heaven right here, right now. It's all around you. It is about knowing who the creator is, knowing that the creator is God and that God created you. And with that comes the amazing possibility of becoming that co-creator. All right. So remember, like I said, the mission is to know that God is. And because God is, you are. All right, um, I am going to move into the process of my day. I think it's Friday. <laughs> I think it's Friday. I'm not absolutely sure. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get up and try. I I don't. I didn't see any squirrels this morning, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the day goes. Um, but I will see you at 9 a.m. tomorrow, regardless. And yeah and david will be on later uh if you need us catch us on all the social medias go to the creative life spiritual center youtube channel um click on playlists and look at all of the amazing stuff that we've got up for you we have guest speakers we have regular speakers we have soul sessions you know there's content in there that will keep you busy if you just need some time um the inner healing is on there you know if you just need a minute to yourself uh, that cha that channel is there. I do have a YouTube channel. That's where these are archived. So if you want to know what I've been up to for a year and a half, I'm the running Rev Ryan. Um, but catch us. See what we're up to. And uh, have a great day, an amazing day, a wondrous day, a warm day. <laughs> a stay out of the wind day. Um, an enchanting day. A magical day. A good day. And if that is too much pressure, simply have a day. All right, because you are enough just as you are. Okay, <laughs> me and this cat are going to go have a conversation. Um. <laughs> All right, beloved, take care of yourself, know that you're loved, and I will see you next time. <laughs>